and yeah. school is supposed to keep up with that. Um, I'm standing here beaming with pride as you guys answer these questions um, mm -hmm. for a couple of reasons. One, because I was on the judging panel, I didn't want you guys to embarrass us. I was going to say that I'm confident we made the right decision. Yeah, <laughs> I was confident on Saturday. I'm even more confident yeah. now, yeah. now that I've listened to you guys, now that you've had a, a bit of time to uh, to go further than, uh, than your rehearsed responses because you're... <laughs> no, we, we, don't, we didn't, we didn't rehearse. rehearse. Really? Really? Yeah. Literally, yeah. like, you know, I got the text question, yeah. and then before, because yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I did. And unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't make it to the <laughs> the workshop. But oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so who's the camera? So this was the That's what, yeah, she was the spot, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no. I had yes. no idea. Yeah, no, it's okay. No. It and before that, the girls were just talking about, okay, what's the question gonna be? And I'm, and then they're like, what if we get asked about a question? And I was like, no ways. There's no way they're gonna ask you. What are the benefits of text? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I and got that exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It shows that if you use class, you need to get yourself some <laughs> practical <laughs> take notes. Actually, yeah. Uh, we were not asked the questions that I expected will be asked because yeah. I literally thought. We we're going to be asked about COVID. How would you do? What you know, you I rehearsed the COVID yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are, those are the actual questions that we literally rehearsed. Yes, yeah, yeah, we trained ourselves. And there, were, and there were no questions on COVID. No. Yeah. If, uh, even on the preliminary, there were no yeah. questions. But overall, I think you guys did a good job. The tough questions are going to prepare these right. all for Miss World because. I think we got really tough questions, so you cannot win Miss World with um, what are your aspirations in life. We already know those. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, so, so this is this one was called the new era. This is the beginning of uh, the new era. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about the new era. What what is Miss Lesotho in the new era? All three of you can can answer. Sorry about that. Uh, technical difficulties like to creep their way in when I'm having the best time of my life. But um, <laughs> my my other question is, so you, you brought something up that I think it's very important, that you weren't exactly asked any COVID-related questions. Uh -huh. Now, I am curious, though, to know that being ranked um, in or being queens in, in, in a time when we're really uncertain about what things are going to look like, there's, uh, we're probably going to have another lockdown looming somewhere soon because there are third waves coming across the globe and they are now entering South Africa. So how do you guys think this is going to affect you, specifically you, d so trying to get ready for the end of the year if you think you, you would qualify and we're capable of, of having you represent us there? How is this going to affect this entire year for you? Wow. Um... I honestly don't know what to expect because, you know, you, you never know when the lockdown is going to be announced or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if this is really going to affect me anyway. I think I'll just go with the flow of things. Like, I'll wait if I have to wait because, you know, we, we were just done last year for the student. Uh -huh. But we were patient enough. So, yeah, I'll just wait and see. Yeah, um, adding on to what she already, sorry, adding on to what she's already saying, like she doesn't know what to expect. We we all don't. So if we if it happens that we get into another lockdown, I think it's going to like um, stop us a little bit from actually carrying out the projects that we want to do, because the projects are the actual thing that that's going to help her in the. Miss Miss World competition. So if we if we just if we jump into another lockdown, it's go it's really going to prohibit that because doing workshops require a lot of people, and we know that COVID or the lockdown regulations do not allow that. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going to affect all of us and her specifically badly. Mm -hmm. But we just look forward to doing what you've done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just think that. For me, because the project that I had in mind was about antibody shaming and uh, mental health. Oh, yes. yeah. That is something that 
you can do on the internet. Yes, I would have loved to reach a lot of people, including the ones that do not have access to internet, but I don't think that we can put limitations and make the pandemic stop us. We can just yeah. keep going with whatever resources that we have. Yeah, yeah we can use social media on it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I asked before the connection gave way, what is uh, <coughs> Miss Lesotho the new era about and what does it look like? Can I, can I go first? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I said, when I entered, I did not know I was going to be part of the new era. But... I'm part of the new era now. And the new era to me just represents a new generation, mm -hmm. a new, like we're breaking stigmas, we're breaking stereotypes, we're going beyond mm -hmm. what is the actual norm. So everyone has their own goals. Disozo has a goal of like changing the education system. And I believe she's going to do that. And the new era exactly represents exactly that because mm -hmm. she's going to go beyond that. I'm going to yeah. break body stereotypes and it's going beyond the body um, shaming and all the rules that the world has set in place, all the systematic barriers that have historically been put in place. And that's what the new era represents. It represents change, basically. Yeah. She, she said it. Like, yeah. That's a very good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah the new era means change. Yeah. And established change. Because yeah. apparently, um, this Miss Lesotho that we just uh, won in, it's the very first Miss Lesotho that went live on on, on any, yeah. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. something. The online support was amazing. Huge, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. So basically, it has already commenced. Like yeah. The yeah. whole new era yeah. has it's already doing yeah. things. But uh, like, even the way you guys were put up, uh, uh, the the other judges, the, the lady judges who had taken part in Lesotho before, they were like, they hadn't had anything like this before. Hey? Mm -hmm. Bella was a, was a beautiful Listen, person. Listen, okay. I never get f got fed. I had to do my own makeup. I had to sort everything out myself. <laughs> oh, so it was really great. It was really, really great getting to see you guys be so fully in it. Because yeah. what happens when you have all these resources available to you is you get to fully focus. Uh -huh. So it was great to see that because then we got to see the best of you. Because when you're stressed about saga, my face is it still proper my hair is it done right because there's nobody checking you you get on stage and your confidence is lacking so i think here we were able to see your optimal self and i'm very very excited i'm excited to possibly work with all of you in the future because this is great i have i have yeah i have so much hope and so much faith in what you guys can do um <laughs> I'm also curious to know if you plan to intentionally work together. I know your projects are very different, mm -hmm. but are we then saying Diseto's project is hers, Puela knows is hers, and Rapelang's is hers, or will you be assisting each other along the way in your various projects? We should work uh, together. Yeah. 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 I, you know, I, I think we should carry out our individual projects, but also what I had in mind is whoever gets chosen to go to Miss World, let's say it's Diseto, right? Because, yeah. She is. She yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We like I was thinking we can like you know, like we can put our ideas together. So whatever her project mm -hmm. is, we're gonna help her mm -hmm. with her beauty with a purpose project so that when she does go out to represent us, mm -hmm. we know that we did it and like she stands out because let's say because I've heard that Miss World, it's very tough for you to place like yeah. somewhere really yeah, far. to rank. Yeah. Yeah, to rank. But if you have a very good beauty with a purpose project, of course. like she's automatically gonna be in the top something. Yeah. So my goal is just to push the beauty with a purpose project mm -hmm. so that she elevates and mm -hmm. she has a higher chance of so you guys the we yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> since the beginning, you have no idea. I mean, like, girl we gang. were helping each other with our makeup. With the yeah, earrings, I saw that. I was very like, confused. I've never been so confused <laughs> in my life. To an extent <laughs> where they were like, guys, remember, you are it's a yeah. competition. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yeah. it's a competition. Only one yeah, win. yeah. Yes. There's, only gonna, there's only one crowd. So, mm -hmm. guys, remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was in, in the makeup room and I heard you guys giving each other compliments. I'm like, this is very strange. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all old enough to drink, eh? Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Are you going to have you gonna have one glass of champagne with us to, 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 to toast and to celebrate? Please. Please. Um, I want you guys to tell uh, us about the fun bits. What are, what are the fun things that you did, like in the couple of days that you guys were were together as a as a group like the the final 10 
We ate. She's a we she's ate. A friend. I will we eat. cooked. Yeah. We danced. Okay, she clearly did not cook because she she's is not a lover of cooking. Even this is so. Oh yeah, I did. I baked. Even we were just I eating. baked. No, no, no. Yeah. I baked and I made her sandwiches. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she I baked. I, I don't want to explain her baking <laughs> on air. <laughs> I don't want to explain her baking wow, on air. Wow. But she did beg, though. I don't know. She did she beg. Did beg. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're wow. not trying to embarrass our <laughs> queen over <laughs> here. I, I don't know what to say. Speaking. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Questionable. Oh. But you know what, Nate? It's okay. Royal, oh, You can okay. have people bake on your behalf, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, Mudi, if we can get those glasses, I will open this. It's okay, fine, so while he's while he's doing that, please don't don't let it explode over me. Oh, may um, I just add on to yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. Before I ask my my last. Okay, question. you did ask about us if we're going to carry out our projects individually or yes. we're going to work jointly. Yes. Oh, what I personally think should be done is we all do have projects in mind. I just I just feel like we ought to help each other establish. Uh, those projects and make them happen because at the end of the day suppose um, this also goes out to the Miss World competition mm -hmm. she's going to represent Lesotho mm -hmm. not, not her. herself exactly so I feel like it's our responsibility as the trio to just come in together and just make sure that the projects work regardless of which project in particular mm -hmm. but they should work and when it's pre when it's presented out to the world it's seen as a magnificent project yeah yeah okay <laughs> I, I know my questions are all serious questions but it, it's because I'm, I'm a very curious person and I feel like these are important to know um my my other question is, this is a, actually a question that was asked at the final, and I wasn't entirely satisfied with the answer. And now I'm actually curious to you know get, what you all of you think. You get another <laughs> chance to, re to redeem. <laughs> um, I'm curious to know, Jorge, obviously we're here and we're talking in English, okay. right? And we have an entire country of people who speak Sesotho and English. But Sesotho is our mother tongue. It's our first language. Mm -hmm. And there are people who live in villages who this kind of life of, you know, pageantry is not, they don't see it the way we do. They don't interact with it the way we do. They don't, you know, they don't experience life the same way we do. So, so how do, how do you guys plan to, <laughs> how do you plan to do that, you know, interacting thing with, with, you know, people in the village? Because, there's still Basoto at the end of the day. It's not just, you're not there to represent Maseru. It's Lesotho for a reason. So you've got your Mokotong, your Gacha, your Maseru, your all of it. So how is that going to work? Because you guys are more, you know, Can modern girls. Of course. I think that, I think it's okay. I think we should speak Lesotho honestly. I think it's okay to speak because the, the main thing we're trying to do is communicate with people. Mm -hmm. And I don't think language should be a barrier. And, like, other pageants, honestly, like, take, for example, let's say Philippines, Venezuela, all those countries. They speak some, in their own language. Yeah, some mm -hmm. people go there and they speak their language because they know that they communicate, <coughs> they communicate best in their language. Mm -hmm. So I think, personally, I only speak English because I communicate better in English. I think I can speak better in English. But it doesn't mean I don't know how... <laughs> so I think that... Language is not a barrier in any way, and I think that people should not think that. Also, also, I'm, I'm kind of straying away from from the question a little bit. I also just w aspire to see a Miss Lesotho way other girls from the village can also enter, yeah. because there is this stereotype that you're supposed to speak English, but I think that we shouldn't limit people. Mm -hmm. We should go out into the whole country, go to Mkhotlong, go to Gacha, and teach people how mm -hmm. to um, talk, how to walk, all those things so that we can have like diver a diverse group of girls. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, I'll give you a 10 out of 10 for that one. <laughs> Who's next? Mm. Abela. Okay, well, she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to make sure she doesn't embarrass herself. Yeah. Well, how the queen thinks about it, um, I think the core of the question is how do we Connect. connect yeah it's not just a language thing yeah but everything in yeah. general yeah. yeah like how how do i make a person in Mohokong understand yes. what the page yeah. and support is about? you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think first and foremost 
it's a responsibility for a person, for me, as mm -hmm. a beauty queen. I, d I, I just don't go there and start telling this person, 